I was sent this battery monitor and asked to give my opinion on it, make this short video and uh, check it out. So let's take it out of the box and see what you get. So very simple device, comes with a double-sided piece of tape here. If you wanna stick it to something inside the vehicle maybe. Uh, owner's manual and then the device itself. It's already got two leads connected to it, positive and a negative, red and black. It's very small, you can see it here. You know, it only comes in at about two inches wide and about an inch and a half tall. Each one will have a unique serial number. It'll be on this barcode here. You'll need that to connect it up uh, to your phone for the phone app to monitor the data that the battery monitor will retrieve. Now, I use this for a lot of different things. You can put them in vehicles and keep track of that vehicle's battery. Or in my case, I keep them out because I like to look at different batteries and their state of charge over time so I can figure out if this battery's on the way out or if it's healthy or whatnot. So here's an example of a six volt battery. It goes in a deer feeder and I've got it connected up because this uh, nice thing is this will go from six volts all the way up to 20. So you can cover a wide range of batteries in use, not just your 12 volt uh, vehicle battery. You can see it's blinking uh, with a blue flash. It's ready to connect on Bluetooth. And now I've got the phone here with the app installed on it and ready to go. And here it is. So what it's going to do, it's going to connect on Bluetooth here. It's saying right now it can't connect, but in just a moment it will. There we go. And it's found this, uh, this battery. It's showing me at six and a half volts, but 0% charge, like state of charge, that SOC is, is really bad. It's at zero. And that's reflective of what's going on with this battery. Even though it's a six volt battery and I put a multimeter on it and it shows six volts, it's got no, um, no amps in there or something. It's like totally dead. It, won't, it will not drive the deer feeder at all. Uh, here's another one as well with a bad battery. This is another older uh, battery here, and this gives you another insight into it. This one on a multimeter, it came up with very low volts, so it was pretty obvious that this guy was bad. Let's just connect this guy here and on this side over here. And then with that, we'll start to get, hopefully, has enough volts to flash here. And, uh, no, nope, looks like this one's not even going to do it. So we're totally dead in the water with this guy here. When I did it on a multimeter, it was, it was just below 5 volts. So probably not enough to drive the Bluetooth device. But here's a battery. It's a DeWalt 5 amp hour, 20 volt battery, which typically these, these come in between 18 and 20. They're not always a, a solid 20. But if you look closely on these, uh, the plus is on the far right, left, and the minus on the far right. And so I could just slide in these contacts here. And we can get a test on this battery here. So plug that in, and then we should be seeing uh, the blue flash. And there we go. And now I'll go back to the go back to the app here, and I'm showing. Yep, it's found that battery at 19.31 volts and 100% state of charge. This is a healthy battery. It's been freshly charged. It's coming in at 87 degrees temperature. All these readings are being stored down here below. As you can see, as time's going by it's building a um, case here for that battery. Now, the nice thing is you look at it here, you can not only see the state of charge, but you can look at temperature and you can look at voltage. And it's gonna track these over time and build a history that you're gonna see here in the app, which is quite nice. And you can even sort that by one day, three days, five days. And the nice thing is the device has enough memory in it to queue in the data for about 30 days. And then as soon as you get your phone near it with the Bluetooth, it'll connect up and it'll start to capture that data and upload it into the phone all automatically. So. You know, the app is very, very um, handy. You can add more devices to it. If you get more of these, you can have them all accessible in one app. And you can even do some testing too. Have this on your vehicle. You can do a cranking test, which will show you how that battery is performing with the, uh, the cold cranking amps. Um, and you can even do a charging test as well, where it'll ask you to run it idle, run it at high RPM, run it um, in ways that'll test how well your alternator is charging the battery. So overall, really handy device. I, I wanna have one of these on all of my vehicles because the data that it provides you about the life of a battery is very, very helpful and, and, and neat to understand those trends and how you can extend the life of your batteries. Hey, I hope this was helpful to learn a little bit more about this Ancel BM200 uh, battery monitor. Hope this information is useful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.